hello everyone and today we are going to solve for the given below circuit so the given below circuit here uh, state that we have to plot the output waveform for the given rc circuit right so now if we like observe this as a first glance this will look like a second order circuit as there are two energy storing elements present but if we rearrange the circuit carefully and uh, name the terminals 1 2 3 4 here then we will get to know that there will be some condition for which this will act as a first order circuit so to rearrange the circuit between 1 and 2 there is r1 between 2 and 3 there is c2 between 1 and 4 there is c1 between 4 and 3 there is r2 right so this is 4 this is 2 1 and 3 now here like if we observe this here we are giving the input if you observe you may recall like from in previous days that this is like a bit circuit and this is where we are taking the output from 2 and 4 terminals right and 1 and 3 we give the inputs so if uh, for some condition this 2 and 4 become short circuit as the potential between them becomes same so the condition would have been the opposite impedances multiplication should be equal right so if I rearrange the circuit a bit more as like R1 and C2 and C1 and R2 are in series just for the ease of our calculations we can easily swap them right now what will happen is for uh, it to act as a bridge circuit this multiplication of impedances should be equal R1 to SC1 should be equal to R2 into SC2 now R1 divided by R2 should be equal to C1 divided by C2 as in our case we have taken like C1 and R1 and C2 everything is equal so this will be 1 right C1 equals to C2 equals to C R1 equals to R2 equals to R so from this like c1 and c2 voltage across them will be same so this will become dependent voltages hence this will become a first order circuit and the time constant for the circuit will be uh, c1 parallel with c2 that is c1 plus c2 into r1 parallel with r2 in our case it will be 2c times r by 2 which is r into c now as we have found out the time constant now we will focus on the plotting the output voltage so for plotting the output voltage, we will just calculate the initial and final conditions of the circuit. So initially as there are no charges present right, the, the circuit will look like something this. This is R and C. This is R and C. And this becomes short circuit. And here we are applying plus VP. And here we are measuring the output at T is equal to 0 plus right. Now as we can observe that this positive terminal is going to this end negative end and this negative terminal is going to this end positive end hence v, v0 of 0 plus should be equals to minus of vp. Now at t is equals to infinity the circuit will look like something this as at steady state the caps will not carry any current hence they will be open circuit and current through this and this will be also 0 right because this is an open ended output we are taking an open ended output hence like uh, the drop through this is will be with 0 volts and this V will come here and here so V0 equals to plus VP at is infinity now we, we know the time constant we know the initial and final conditions we can easily plot the output voltage waveform so the output voltage will go from minus vp to plus vp in 4 tau time time which is equals to 4 rc but tau is equal to r, r into c so this will be uh, one method for solving this question so if this like uh, method isn't like intuitive enough for you uh, I will solve it in another method which is more simpler to understand right 
so let me just uh, copy this one so here also if you observe in this circuit uh, like uh, we are giving this input voltage to this terminals and this terminal and both of them are like uh, we are getting the same voltage right so this this circuit can work independently of each other and we are taking the output from this 2 and 4 that is v0 of t is equals to v2 minus v4 right so if we carry uh, if we find out the v2 voltage node 2 voltage and node 4 voltage and subtract those two then we will easily get to know the output waveform plot the output waveform so like if we uh, just this is a simple rc circuit right r1 and c1 and for our case simply we just take it rc and this second circuit is cr right and we're taking the voltage from here and here right two and four and vp is applied over here and here so uh, simple rc circuit i hope you have watched uh, like the notes and all so for simple RC circuit, initially this will be uh, short circuit, so initially VP will be 0 and finally this will be open circuit, this gap will be open circuit so the current through this will be 0 amperes and the whole voltage will come at this voltage okay, drawback is R is 0 so the voltage V2 will look something like this plus VP and it will settle to 4 tau and tau is equal to R into G right now for uh, plotting the v4 right v4 uh, we can see that uh, uh, this cap will be short circuit initially so v4 will be plus vp initially because this whole voltage will come across this r and at open circuit this this cap will not conduct any current so so current through the R will be also 0 and the drop across this R will also be 0 right so VO will be equal to 0 at t equals to infinity so this uh, V4 will look like something this to whom plus VP to 0 around 4 tau time and here also the time constant is same nothing new so we just have to sub subtract these two from as the time constant is same right so this can be easily subtracted off and the result will be similar to what we obtained in the uh, method 1 it will go from minus vp to plus vp around 4 tau okay. so uh, we have solved this circuit using two methods right this one was the first method and this one was the second method so you can like solve it with both ways but uh, in an interview if uh, this question comes up i think you should solve this in the first method uh, as this is like more of a unique approach then you can like also say that we can solve it like this also so i will recommend that only and if you have any more doubts and anything you can just post it in the comments below thank you for watching